Hey guys, welcome back to another video in the series of DevOps project and in today's video we are going to talk about Jenkins installation. So we are going to install Jenkins in Ascent OS and the version we are using right now is 7. Okay, so before moving further in this video, I would like to request that if you have not subscribed my channel yet and you are new over here, kindly subscribe the channel. So without further ado, let us understand how to install Jenkins in a Ascent OS box. Okay, so there are a few things that you need to take in your mind that make sure that your VM or your virtual machine or the Linux machine that you're using is up and running. The second thing is it has to have a proper and a steady internet connection because it is going to download stuff from the internet. So it must have a proper and a steady internet connection. The third thing is you should have admin or the sudo rights over the machine because you need to install stuff and you need to run a few commands. And the last would be a Java or a Java development kit installed. So if you do not have it, we'll, we'll do that. And uh, right now I do not have anything installed. So we'll do everything from scratch. Okay. So let's get started. Okay. So as you can see on my screen right now, what we have over here is, is the Jenkins server that is up and running. Okay. So we are in the folder where we have our DevOps project three, and this is the vagrant file that we already have. So right click over here and just open the git bash over here. Okay. So that's the very basic need that you're going to do. That's all. And after that, you have to type vagrant SSH Jenkins. Okay. Because that was our server name. So it's going to make a contact to that VM and it's going to open it up. Okay. So that's the first thing that we're going to do over here. So let it happen. Uh, last login, this and this, this is perfect. I think we need to have sudo su because we need to have the moderator privileges. Now, right now we can see that we are into root folder. Okay. So this is perfect. Now what we'll do the first step, first step is to install the Jenkins over here. So right now the problem is that Jenkins only supports 1.8 and up kind of that, but it does not support Java 10 or Java 11 yet. So if you have multiple versions of Java, just make sure that Java 8 is the default Java version that you are using. Otherwise, if you're doing for the first time, then just all you have to do is you have to just install Java 1.8. So I'm going to paste a command, which is sudo yum install Java hyphen 1.8.0 open JDK devil. Okay. I'll just hit enter and I think it'll start contacting to the repository and then it will start downloading. I'll just maximize this so that you can have a better view of this. So this is the first step that you have to do. Okay. So let it happen. Uh, I think it just needs a few updates. Let it happen. I'll just fast forward the video. Okay. So I think it has downloaded a few things. It is asking me whether this is okay or not. Just give Y over here and hit enter so that it will start the downloading the packages. So there are around, you can see 64 packages that it requires. We are at 33. So uh, I'll not fast forward the video right away. I'll just keep it like this. And if you want, you can, you can do that. All right. You can just fast forward the video over here. Now it is going to just install. Now you can see that this is the last thing that it is going to do. Installing a few things. If you, okay, so this is completed. All right. So the first task of installing Java is completed. So now all I have to do is I'll just type Java hyphen version to check whether everything is fine or not. And you can say that open JDK version 1.8.0.332 is installed on this machine. Okay. So let me just clear the screen. So the first step is completed. Now the next step is to enable the Jenkins repository to do that. You have to import a GPG key using the curl command. Okay. So if you have curl in this already installed, then it's perfect. All you have to do is use this command. So curl hyphen hyphen silent hyphen hyphen location. Then this is the repository location that you need to know with a pipe symbol sudo t etc yum dot repos dot d Jenkins dot repo. So that's all you have to do. Hit enter. And then it has, it has done because it has a Jenkins table over there. Perfect. This is the second step. And then you have to add the repository to your system with a command. Okay. So that's what we have to do. So the next command is sudo RPM import HTTP. And then you have to give the server uh, ad address for the key and then hit enter. Okay. So it is going to take a few seconds and then it is going to install stuff. Okay. So this is perfect. So once the repository is enabled, install the latest stable version of Jenkins by typing. All you have to do is sudo. Uh, you can avoid sudo because you are already have root privileges, but I'll just type for the sake of it. Jenkins, that's all. Hit enter. Then it is going to load the plugins. It is going to make a connection with the repository. And then it is going to ask me whether it is fine to install it or not. I'll type Y and then it will start downloading the packages. And it is going to take a few seconds. Now this time I'm going to fast forward the video. 
as you can see that uh, on the right side it is downloading it's still downloading and it is showing ETA which is estimated time of arrival for this and the speed is kind of 52 kbps right now and it has to be downloaded 34 mb so this is a time taking process and it totally depends on your internet speed that how will it be in how much time it will be downloaded okay so just uh, i'll just fast forward the video again okay so looks like it is showing an error that public key for jenkins 2.0.332 no arch is not installed so looks like uh, there is a change. So correct public key URL can be found on Jenkins Red Hat package page. You just have to run the command to import it. So this could be uh, the issue because of that. So now what you can do is you can paste this sudo rpm hyphen hyphen import https slash package Jenkins IO Red Hat stable key. So that sh this should work because it's the stable one. So I hope uh, this should be the one. Now let's try sudo uh, yum install Jenkins. And let's see what happens so this is fine now again let's try okay so this is installed so everything looks perfect now all right so that was the issue and uh, this can issue this issue can come in your system as well so do not worry about that now let's uh, clear the screen and let's see if everything is working fine or not okay so all i have to do is i'll have to just sudo system ctl start and then jenkins the all i have to type hit enter and then it might do something because it's taking some time and let's see let's wait uh, what happens and if you're like uh, if you want to skip this or you just want to fast forward it you can do that all right i'm just going to wait over here that whether it is starting the machine or not okay so no response is a good response so all i have to do is i'll have to just check the status of it okay so i'll just check the status and then i'll just remove this for a while and then you can see it is saying that it is active and running okay so that's all so right now what it is saying that this is maybe found at this 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 initial admin password now you need to fix this part password because what happens is for the first time you have to uh, do a few things over here okay we'll come to that the first thing is that we have to just adjust the firewall now firewall would be protected so on the port 8080 that's the default pass port so let's just fix that so there is a particular command for that sudo firewall cmd let me show you paste sudo firewall hyphen cmd hyphen hyphen permanent zone public add port 8080 that's what we are going to do over here okay enter it is saying that firewall d is not running so what you have to do you just have to fix that first so i think you have to just install it so what i'll do is i'll just install that first I don't know whether it's pre-installed in CentOS 7 or not and if it's not you just verify the install let me check it first so what I'll do is just rpm qa firewall d firewall d no arch this and then I'll just type yum install firewall d I think that's all you need to do so it's loading the plugins no package firewall I think my spelling is wrong I'm sorry about that firewall needs e that's all package firewall d no watch already installed on the latest version okay so i think it is already installed so i've just checked it so all i have to do is i'll just have to start it so how do you how do you start it let me paste that command it is sudo firewall hyphen cmd start okay so i think it is saying unrecognized arguments no, something is wrong let me clear the screen first okay so after clearing all i have to do is just type the command system ctl status firewall d it is saying that it's not running then i'll have to just have to start it so let's see if okay so no response is a good response i'll just check the status again and this is active and running okay so that was something that we were looking for okay so what i'll do is i'll just copy the command again and then paste it over here and let's not not do this one let me so I can type it. I think I should go up. I should find it. I think this is the one. Perfect. Success. Now, do not go through this message. If this is success, then I think this is done. But you need one more step, which is one of the most important step is that you have to reload. Until and unless you reload it, it won't be effective. Okay. So this is this should be the one. And then success. Perfect. Now everything is all right. 
now you have to just set up the Jenkins so I'll just open a browser let me open a browser over here okay I've opened this browser in this you have to give HTTP I'll just type HTTP colon hyphen hyphen your IP and then 8080 now if you remember what was the IP we were looking for we just have to check in the vagrant file so let me open the vagrant file so I was having a vagrant file over here right click check the vagrant file show more options I just want to open with notepad plus plus okay so Jenkins was on 192 168 and 22 just copy that go to your favorite browser paste that IP over there and then hit 8080 okay so it is signing in perfect so this is up now it will ask for var lab lab Jenkins secrets initial admin password so that's what you have to fix it so in order to check that you need to know the password so I'll just go over here I'll go sudo cat you already know what we use cat for var and then after that I think we are we have to go inside lib after that we have to go inside Jenkins after that we have to go inside secrets this is a one-time setup so do not worry about that and then after that we have to go inside initial admin password I guess shell admin password I think this should be the one okay it is saying oh I think I missed an s over here so this is the password okay just copy whole of it and go to your browser paste it over here you know this is one time process and you don't have to save it as of now install plug suggested plugins and then there is select plugins to install so you can suggest whatever so on the next screen you will be asked whether you want to install the suggested plugins or to select specific plugins so click on install suggested plugins which is this one and it is going to take its own sweet time to do that okay so again I'm telling you that it depends totally on your internet speed how this is going to happen and then it can take up to 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes or 24 minutes or so so uh, I'll not do anything as of now I'll just wait for it to happen and then I'll just fast forward the video so looks like that everything is done so you have to just create the first admin user over here you can give any username I'll just give logic ops and then password you can give anything I'll give logic ops only let me just cross check it again I'm not sure whether this will work so logic ops again confirm password logic ops full name you can say logic ops lab you can give anything you don't need to give this one so logic ops lab at rate sorry about that at rate gmail.com okay uh, I think spelling is wrong I'll just fix that first logic ops lab okay this is done I'll just save and continue and then this is the URL you want to change anything it's fine at otherwise just save and finish okay so that's all it's going to ask so to complete the setup confirm the URL so our URL is completed now it is saying Jenkins is ready let's start using it okay so yeah I think you can see that everything is completed so finally when you click on start using Jenkins button you will be redirected to this page whatever you see over here and it's kind of a dashboard logged in as an admin user you have created in one of the previous steps okay so you can take a look at that so if you have reached this point you have successfully installed Jenkins on your CentOS system okay so uh, I think we can conclude this so in this tutorial you have learned how to install and complete the initial configuration of Jenkins on CentOS again one more thing this will one work on RHEL or your Red Hat Enterprise Linux based system as well and if you want to go to the official documentation there is official documentation as well let me show you so this is the official documentation where you can see Jenkins user documentation what is Jenkins how about this documentation document scope and a lot of stuff okay so uh, I think uh, this should be done and in the other videos we'll talk about everything else so if you have anything guys uh, feel free to comment below in the comment section we would love to see your opinion and we would love to see that whether you were able to do everything or not and then we'll go in the next video all right so if there's anything feel free to comment below and we will address that so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next one